All right. Definitely proved it tonight. I'm using the super dark dollar store teriyaki. Look how dark that is. And what do you see here? That's catfish, and catfish just does not marinate in anything, period. Yeah. We'll do skin side up. But seriously, look at this. The one side you get a little something. Nothing. You get no marinade going into this meat. A couple of the edges, that's about it. Oops, making a mess all over the table. That's a biggie. piece over here. And there we go. That's my catfish teriyaki. That's the most I could get it to marinate. All right. This is what it looks like. Give it a flip. And they're all curling up. That's why I don't like catfish. Don't like the way it cooks. Back on the flame. We're good to go. And you hear it sizzling away in the background. Now, look how much oil there. You see me do this trick with other things. We're doing the bowl technique. Turn the bowl upside down, go like that. We want to get all that oil. Although that oil is good, I don't know what it's got in it. Omega 6, 3, 9, 10, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's got omegas. We're not really wanting those oils. Catfish is a very oily fish. First time I had it, I was three. And that's a story in itself, but... All right. I'm gonna take the catfish, put it into here. And add a little extra something. Sun, teriyaki. That's the best I can get that. Give it a taste. No, that's fat. Some of the fat came off of that. All right. This is how we roll. Take this. I don't know if we're going to be making burritos out of this yet. I got some burritos over to my left. But we definitely have to soak this to clean it up. I think tomorrow we're going to try it in a, the round pan. And I'm going to put a plate over the top of it to prevent the curling. If I've eaten catfish... Five times in my life, that's a lot. I didn't buy it because it was on sale. I just bought it because I wanted to see if that other teriyaki sauce would give it a darker color than the one that I did. 
Now we're going to give this a taste. Very tasty. It does not absorb a high salt content, though. We'll shake that up. Big blob. I think that was garlic or ginger or something. I'll tell you right now. That's salty. All right, got to soak this. This is what we're going to roll with later. Just flavored it up a little. Actually, I might chop it like this and do burritos. And that's how we're rolling tonight. Look how much oil I got off just using the bowl technique. 